Got a busy day today? Uh, not too bad. That's not too okay. bad. You can shake off. Okay. Oh, you prefer to be called Jackie? Um, I prefer Jacqueline, but nobody says it, so. Oh, I like Jacqueline better. <laughs> do you? Okay, yes, you can I do. call me Jacqueline. You know, that's interesting because so many people with your name say Jacqueline, and you say Jacqueline. This is a new thing because usually people ask me, do you prefer Jacqueline or Jackie? And I'll say Jacqueline, and they'll say, okay, Jackie. And they, it just doesn't stick, so now I'm trying a new approach. I'm trying Jacqueline. See what happens. I like Jacqueline. You're the first one, Bobby. Okay, here we go. <laughs> And also, I like very much your movie, Tortilla Soup. Thank you. I'm very glad that you enjoyed it. I was telling our photographer, Mike, that it reminds me of Mi Familia, which I loved also. Yeah. And, uh, and you know, I don't, I'm not big into comparisons, but if you have to make one, that's a good one to make it to, I think. Right. Well, it's, um, I, I think it's actually a very different than any film that I've seen. Um, what's interesting is that it's about this American family, but it just happens to be of Latin descent. And so you have that cross-culture, and you have, um, there are a lot of people born in the United States that may have parents from another country, and they're grown up speaking two languages in the household, and yet there are no movies that cater to that, really. And so um, that was something I could identify with in this film, and, I, and it's something that, that I love. I, th I thought it translated really well in the film. What about your own family background? Um, I was born in, in Southern California and brought up there, and my parents are of Argentine. Um, they're from Argentina, but everyone from Argentina is from somewhere else. So my grandparents were from Spain and Italy. So that's my, my cultural mix. It's a nice mix, I would say. <laughs> it is a nice mix. Thank you. <laughs> and a very pretty mix. Oh, thank you. I have good genes. My mom's still a hottie. <laughs> she looks good. <laughs> is Carmen anything like you, or are you like Carmen in any way? Um, yeah, we, have, we definitely have some similarities. Um, as I said, Carmen and myself both being brought up in the household speaking two languages. I, I share in that. Uh, growing up, I spoke Spanish before English, but as soon as I went to school, you know, you want to fit in, and so you speak English. And then in the household, our parents spoke Spanish to us. So it was, you know, if you were someone coming in from, you know, like a friend being brought over, they're like, what's going on here? It sounds a little, a little odd. But um, so we, we share that, and I have siblings as well. And family in my life is extremely important, as it is um, in this movie. This is a movie about family and love and relationships and life's changes and, and food, you know, amazing food. And um, uh, so I'm not quite a chef like uh, Carmen is, uh, but I'm working on it. I, didn't, I couldn't really make much before this movie, and, and um, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm getting in there with my hands now. I have a whole new uh, appreciation for cooking. If you just can sit down and maybe to your mother or grandmother and say, I want you to cook me this and this and this and this, what would it be? Um, I love anything my mom makes, but she makes a wonderful milanesa. Explain. Uh, it's <laughs> it's, uh, it's kind of like veal, um, what's it called? Like veal cutlets, but not veal. I, I prefer it with chicken. I don't eat red meat, so, but it's breaded. Um, and fried, so it's not the healthiest, and I, I try to eat healthy. So once in a while, it's nice to indulge in something. And, and oh, and there were these things called bocadillos, which she used to make. She hasn't made those in a long time, actually. When I get home, I'm going to have her make me some of them. And what are the what are they? They're these spinach, um, again fried, not very healthy. Um, spinach and egg and um, breadcrumbs, I believe, and they're like these little patties. And uh, you deep fry them. It's, I mean, I haven't eaten anything like that in a long time, but you deep fry them and, and dry them in a paper towel, and they're just to die for. Well, you can use a healthy oil, though, you know. Yeah, I guess that would, that would compensate and just work out really hard the next day. <laughs> <laughs> One of the scenes in this movie that I just love is the Kisas Kisas. <laughs> I love that song. I've known that song for years. And, and the breaking of the dishes. Yeah. <laughs> now tell me about shooting that scene. Well, that scene, um, we only had a limited amount of dishes, and they were special dishes, so that they would, they were uh, prop dishes, so that they would break when you, when you dropped them, because you know, we just couldn't, 
you couldn't have it, you know, throw down a plate and then, you know, it bounces. So these were specially made plates um, in order to break. And so we had limited amount of takes on that. Uh, but we had a good time, the girls and I. My sisters in the movie are played by Elizabeth Pena and Tamara Mello, who were unable to be here, but they're so wonderful in the film. And um, that was, uh, you know, that's a, it's a good portrayal of its sisters, and you, you know, you fight and butt heads, and it's, it's like the next second, you know, you love each other again. So it's, it's, um, it parallels life, you know, it's, uh, I, I love that about it, and that's it. that's what it's about. It's about relationships and um, and going through all of that. It's a dysfunctional family that still manages to function, you know, like a lot of families out there. Have your parents seen this movie yet? No, they haven't seen it yet, and they've been hearing about it for a year now. And um, they're coming to the premiere, which is Tuesday in Los Angeles, and my mom just hasn't stopped talking about it. They're looking very forward to it. Um, I don't know if you remember, there's a picture wall in the movie in the Naranjo household and there's a big photo of our mother uh, in the movie and that's that's actually a photo of my my real life mother that that they used in the film because they wanted Carmen to resemble uh, the mother so that's my mom in that picture and how many siblings do you have I have a brother and a sister uh, both older so they're all coming to the premiere and they're really excited whereas Carmen is the middle child she's the middle child I'm the youngest in real life um, so I never had, I always wanted a younger sibling. So if I got to tease Tamara a lot in this movie, I had fun with her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, let me ask you just um, one other question. Um, you were in Six Days, Seven Nights yes. with Mr. Harrison Ford. Mr. Harrison Ford. Yes. Yes, lucky me. <laughs> and how did, how did you get that role? I got in at the tail end of that casting and um, that is a film that I, at the status I was at that point, I never would have had the opportunity had they not had such a hard time finding this role. So I got in literally at the tail end of the casting and I went in for the casting directors on tape um, and then I was told to come back for a call back for Ivan Reitman and all the other producers and to prepare every scene in the movie and to be prepared to do every scene with an accent and without. So this was my, my assignment, and um, I went into that uh, callback extremely nervous and thinking I didn't have a chance in the world. And I threw caution to the wind and just kind of went for it. And, um, and then they FedExed the tape to Harrison, who wasn't in town, and he gave the, the okay, and I was hired. That's and then when that you happened. met him the first when time? When I met him, I met him at the read-through out in Kauai, which is where we shot the film. And I was just, I was really nervous to meet him, and he's just a sweet, sweet guy and made me feel really comfortable um, all throughout the shooting. He's got a great sense of humor, and uh, he's just a wonderful man, and he's a pilot in real life, as I'm sure you know, so I got to shoot some scenes where it was just he and I in the plane with the camera in the back seat, you know, on, on this one day. So that was extremely exciting for me. That's great. Yeah. Well. Thank you so much. I wish we had more time. But, thank you. Uh, I, I do as it's well. It's just a pleasure to meet you, and thank you for coming to Dallas and sharing <laughs> your, your time with us. My pleasure, Bobby. Thank you. Okay. Now he's going to bring the... How are we doing? Good. Okay. We've got two minutes at mm -hmm. least. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good, Bobby. It would be nice if they'd be quiet out there. Yeah. You're not okay. Wow. Good mic. How closely does your own life resemble Carmen's, your characters? Well, we have a lot of uh, similarities, actually. Carmen and I, we um, we're both bilingual. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Great. What is your own heritage? Uh, my parents are from Argentina, and uh, my grandparents were from Spain and Italy. That's good. Okay. <laughs> How good a cook are you? Well, um, a little better now since the movie. <laughs> I wasn't too good in the <laughs> kitchen, but now, you know, I'm learning to get in there and use my hands. That's good. Okay. <laughs> if you could go to your mother, your grandmother, maybe both, and say, I want you to cook this and this and this and this for me, what would they cook? I guess I'd have to request uh, Milanesa. Okay. Which is that's fine. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, 
you were in Six Days, Seven Nights with Harrison Ford. How did that role yeah. come about? Well, that role, um, I was very fortunate to get that role. I got in on the tail end of this one. And then when you met Harrison Ford? That was a very exciting day for me. Um, I met him at the read-through in Kauai. And um, he's a wonderful man, very sweet and great yeah, sense of humor. That's fine. <laughs> that should do it. 